Well, I think it, it matters to um, some people uh, very immediately and uh, instinctively, and I think I was in that category. But if you think about it, uh, you know, it matters for a whole bunch of reasons. I think the most important is that, uh, generally speaking, when inequality goes up, poverty goes up. And there's very broad consensus. People from all points of view would agree that uh, uh, this is a bad thing for society and, and so on. Uh, the utilitarian philosophers pointed out that a, a euro or a dollar in the hands of a poor person uh, produces more welfare or utility than it does in the hands of a rich person. So there's something inefficient about a distribution of resources that gives a lot to a small group of people and little to a lot of, uh, a lot of poor people. And it matters for uh, the sake of uh, the nation's or the world's health, longevity, uh, economic growth we're learning uh, is, uh, uh, tends to uh, go better when there's less inequality. So there's a, a whole host of, of uh, reasons. Yeah. Um, most of the attention uh, has been on inequality of income. And uh, that's natural. Uh, it's probably the most important thing. But uh, my particular interest is in uh, people's assets and their debts. And it's a, another dimension of the problem. So if you uh, don't have any assets, you know, maybe if you have some debts and you lose your job or you fall ill, uh, in many countries in the world, um, it's you and your family and what resources you have that are going to save you. Um, so uh, people in uh, lower income countries are well aware of this and uh, they try to build up uh, their resources and their assets in anticipation of uh, events like that. Um, so it's a, it's a, a key, deter key determinant of welfare for people at all levels of the income or wealth distribution. And it's something that in the past tended to be overlooked and it's getting more and more attention uh, these days. The, the fact that it's more unequal than uh, global income is due to greater differences between countries. So if you go to a poor African country, you'll find that the uh, people's wealth relative to their income is even lower than it is for, uh, uh, for, for uh, people in the developed world which is kind of backwards because uh, those people are exposed to many risks that, uh, that we really are not exposed to. If I lose my job, I receive unemployment insurance. I have uh, you know, various benefits that I can draw on. Um, the country that I come from, health is zero cost. Healthcare is zero cost. This isn't true in you know, Angola or um, Myanmar or you know, wherever. Um, so, in a sense, uh, we see less wealth where it's more needed, and uh, that seems to be that seems to be a problem. Yeah, economists have always uh, um, talked about self-insurance, and um, you can, you know, often you can buy insurance from an insurance company. In many cases, you can't. You know, for example, with unemployment insurance or. Uh, health insurance or in a country where the insurance markets are not very well developed. So just having savings, uh, um, you know, one of, one of the roles of having savings is to provide yourself with something to fall back on. So it's, in a way, it's a form of insurance. Yeah, absolutely. That's a very good uh, comparison, yeah.